Okay, welcome guys. So just another short video, um, little training on getting a little bit more familiar with the Gmail Creator. Now that you've had it a few days, you probably want to start messing around with a few of the other buttons. Okay, so you've got things here like, you know, if you want to, if you've got your settings all clear and you know you want to be doing automatic the whole time, I generally like to just let it run like that. And then it's all clear. Don't have it, don't have to look at anything. Any other settings, just press start and stop, and, and that's pretty much it. You, you'll never really need to mess with these unless, you know, unless it stops working and your capture's low or your balance is, is finished, you know, whatever. Okay, so that's that's this cool little setting here that just cleans everything up and makes it um, makes it a little bit, um, you know, just cleaner for you. Um, you have the new. Again, we went through these things, but you know, we didn't cover the the automatic, the semi-automatic skip capture. So just to clarify. Um, this is fully automatic, right? You just sit and hold, um, sit, press start, and it'll just go and run through a whole list, and and that's it. And you don't have to do anything. You just minimize it, set it, forget it, put it on a server, whatever you're gonna do, and um, and just let it run, and then come back after an hour or so, and you would have had all your emails created. Okay. And then you have semi-automatic mode, which just means it's gonna go through the process of um, semi filling out the form for you and we'll let you just do the rest of the process manually I'll go through it right now just to show you I'm not actually going to do a sign up I'm just going to um, let the uh, manual thing run and as you can see oh well look this is a good thing I didn't actually because it's got here it's managed to it picked my IP out um, which is why it does this it's picked my IP out um, and it's synced the system time with with my current location and I haven't actually put proxies in yet so I do want to do that so um, we'll show you how to add the proxies and the thing is you can't add proxies until you've got all of the projects in because otherwise it has nothing to associate them with all right so the settings are as this if you skip capture that means it'll just go straight it'll fill out the information and go straight to phone verification which it does in 95% of the cases anyway, unless you've got super, super clean proxies over there, super private, dedicated proxies that like no one is using. So it's just pretty rare. But if that is the case, then you can skip the capture. Or then you can, um, then, 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 then all you would actually need is the capture and you're not going to need the phone verification. The sync system time does exactly that. It syncs the time, the system time to whatever the proxy is. So as you can see now, can't see the system time, but you can see that it's brought in this 972 because I'm in Israel and it's got the Israeli flag there because I'm in Israel. So it's got the local system time that it's picked up and it has even managed to just automatically fill that in. So let's go ahead and add proxies and this is how you add them. Um, you've got all these places to add in the proxies. So multi and just paste them all in, all in there and hit OK. And that's it, ready to go, save, close that down, let's start this again, and let's, oh, but you know what we're going to do? Yeah, no, that's fine, sorry, that's perfectly fine, okay, so let's start this over again. Ah, <laughs> we've started the process already, so there's nothing for it to start, we start, and, and, and it went through the, uh, okay, so we can do, we can do the we can do this one, okay, because I'm not clicking it. Sorry, guys, it's a little bit late over here, and I got a little bit confused there. <laughs> so it wasn't clicked. So let's click that, start the process again. All right, let's move to the next one then, because I've... Hmm. You have to give it a little... So I guess so you have to give it a minute sometimes with the proxies. And as you can see, it's, it's localized the uh, proxies over here now to the US because these are US proxies and semi-automatic it's just going to stop here we've clicked in skip capture actually so you can see it skipped the verification so the next page over here when we click next is going to give us a phone verification and I'm not going to do that right now all right so these are all the settings um, very very simple very straightforward nothing overwhelming at all um, pretty simple exactly what it means it skips the capture sync system time with your VPN or with your proxies and this is fully automatic and semi-automatic where it will stop at the end of the page and then you will click next the next the next and it'll go on to the next page 
and and then you'll have the manual add you'll be able to manually add in a personal private number that you have or use the uh, phone verification service all right so that's it guys um i'm gonna end the video here and we'll see you in the next video